Once upon a midnight dreary, as I pondered weak and weary over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore, while I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping, as of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. Tis some visitor, I muttered, tapping at my chamber door, only this and nothing more. Muttering, I got up weakly, always I've had trouble sleeping. Stumbling upright, my mind racing, furtive thoughts flowing once more, I there hoping for some sunrise, happiness would be a surprise. Loneliness, no longer a prize. Rapping at my chamber door, seeking out the clever boar, lost in dreams forevermore, only this and nothing more. Hovering, my pulse was racing, stale tobacco, my lips tasting scotch sitting upon my basin, remnants of the night before, came again. Infernal tapping on the door, and in my mind jabbing, is it in or outside rapping, calling out to me once more the fit and fury of Lenore, nameless here forevermore. And the silken, sad, uncertain rustling of the purple curtain thrilled me, filled me with fantastic terrors never felt before, so that now, oh, wind, stop breathing, hoping yet to calm my breathing, tis some visitor entreating entrance at my chamber door, some lost visitor entreating entrance at my chamber door, this is it and nothing more. Deep into the darkness peering, long I stood there, wondering, fearing, doubting, dreaming fantasies no mortal dared to dream before. But the silence was unbroken, and the stillness gave no token, and the only word there spoken was the whispered name, Lenore. This I thought, and out loud whispered from my lips, the foul name festered, echoing itself, merely this and nothing more. Back into my chamber, turning every nerve within me, burning, when once again I heard a tapping somewhat louder than before. Surely, said I, surely that is something at my iron staircase. Open the door to see what thread is. Open the window, free the shutters, let us this mystery explore. Oh, bursting heart, be still this once, and let this mystery explore. It is the wind and nothing more. Just one epithet I muttered as inside I gagged and shuddered, when with manly flirt and flutter in there flew a stately raven. Sleek and ravenous as any foe, not the least obeisance made he, not a minute's gesture toward me of recognition or politeness, but perched above my chamber door, this foul and salivating visage insinuating.
lifetime, one of toil and blood. When blackness was a virtue and the road was full of mud, I came in from the wilderness, a creature void of form. Come and she said, I'll give you a shelter from the storm. And if I pass this way again, you can rest assured. I'll always do my best for her, on that I give my word. In a world of steel-eyed death and men who are fighting to be warm. Come in, she said, I'll give you shelter from the storm. <laughs> Not a word was spoke between us, there was little risk involved. Everything up to that point had been left unresolved. Try imagining a place where it's always safe and warm. Come in, she said, I'll give you a shelter from the storm. <laughs>